Hi, this is Mark. Why does negative times negative equal positive? This is one of those questions that students really get confused by. And there are a couple of videos on YouTube that give explanations for this sort of counterintuitive idea. Professor Khan of Khan Academy gives one that relies on the distributive property of multiplication over addition. And I think Mathologer also has an explanation. So here's a slightly different take on the whole question, and I hope it's useful. Most students feel comfortable with the idea that a negative plus a negative equals a negative. For example, if I owe one friend $3 and I owe another friend $4, then negative 3 plus negative 4 equals negative 7. I owe a total of $7, negative 7. But why, for example, does negative 3 times negative 4 equal positive 12. Why do two negatives cancel out to equal a positive? So if this quick explanation works for you, you don't have to watch the rest of the video. The sentence, I am not not a crook, to paraphrase the famous statement by President Nixon, means I am a crook. So the two nots, two negatives cancel to become a positive, and we do that every day. We understand that. But to be a little more rigorous with the math, in this video, what I'll do is build to this idea, beginning with just a review of what it means when we multiply two numbers. What is multiplication? Then, using that, we'll clarify what it means to multiply a negative by a positive, then a positive by a negative, and finally, the main event, multiplying a negative by a negative. And hopefully, this will clarify the whole issue. So, to begin, what is multiplication? When you were learning how to multiply, you probably heard the sentence, multiplication is repeated addition. So the idea of four times three means take the number four and add it to itself three times. Four plus four plus four equals 12. And using the same idea, three times four equals three plus three plus three plus three, which also equals 12. Pretty straightforward. This brings us to our next point about multiplication. Multiplication is commutative, which means that 4 times 3 equals 3 times 4. And this is true for any two numbers that you multiply. So now we want to take these two ideas and simply extend them to include negative numbers. And the easiest case is taking a negative number times a positive number. For example, negative 3 times 4. All this means is take negative 3 and add it to itself four times. Negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3. And we know that this equals negative 12. And that should feel pretty comfortable. Because as I said earlier, adding negative numbers usually isn't confusing. The idea of adding amounts of money that I owe and thinking of a negative number as an accumulating debt. So this puts us in a position to look at a positive number times a negative number. For example, 4 times negative 3. Now, we agreed that the commutative property, the idea that you can flip two numbers in a multiplication problem and you should get the same answer, that's pretty basic. So the number that we should get when we multiply 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. We already know where we're going with this. And now let's see how we get there. If we were simply to add the number 4 to itself three times, 4 plus 4 plus 4, to try to make this problem work, we would get the wrong answer. We'd get positive 12 rather than negative 12. And there's no reason why we should think that multiplying by negative 3 should be the same operation as multiplying by positive 3. So something's a little wrong here. We got the 12 right, but we didn't get the sign right. So the correction here is to flip the sign change the minus sign to a plus sign. Flip the sign. This is just like flipping an on-off switch. If I tell you to flip the switch and it's on, you turn it off. If it's off, you turn it on. And so that's going to be how we interpret multiplying by a negative. And in this problem, it works. Negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4 does equal negative 12, which is the number that we were assuming we were going to get from the previous problem. And if all this makes sense, we're ready now to tackle a negative number times a negative number. For example, negative 4 times negative 3. We're going to use the same procedure we did in the previous problem. 
begin by adding negative 4 to itself three times. Negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4. But before we compute the answer, we're going to flip the sign. We're going to change these negative numbers to positive numbers. 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. Voila! Surprise! Negative 4 times negative 3 equals positive 12. Two negatives equal a positive. This procedure will work for any pair of negative numbers, and I think it's one of the simplest ways of thinking about this idea of multiplying two negatives to get a positive in a way that uses the information you already probably feel pretty comfortable with in multiplication, repeated addition, and the commutative property. I hope you found this explanation useful, and thanks for watching.